Hey there, it's Zuzu and welcome back to another episode of Zuzu Talk where we dive deep into the challenges, triumphs and everything in between that we face in our daily lives. Today's topic is one that hits close to home for many of us. Breakups. Whether it's your first heartbreak or another chapter in your book of love, navigating a breakup can be one of the most challenging experiences. So grab a cup of tea, get comfortable and let's talk about how we can handle breakups with strength and grace. Breakups are universal experience. No matter who you are, where you come from, or what stage of life you are in, most of us will face the end of a significant relationship at some point. And let's be real, breakups suck. They hurt. They can leave us feeling lost, unworthy and questioning our future. But despite the pain, breakups also offer a unique opportunity for growth and self-discovery. In this episode, we are going to explore the emotional roller coaster for breakups, practical steps for healing, and how to emerge stronger and wiser from the experience. Let's start at the beginning, the initial shock. When a relationship ends, especially if it's unexpected, the shock can be overwhelming. It's like the rug has been pulled out from under you and you are left grappling with a new reality. Denial often kicks in as a defense mechanism. We tell ourselves, this can't be happening. We'll be back together. This is just a phase. But the truth is, Facing the reality head-on is the first step towards healing. It's okay to feel lost and confused. It's part of the process. I remember my own breakup like it was yesterday. It was a relationship I thought would last forever, but it ended abruptly. At first, I was in complete denial. I kept waiting for a message, a call, a sign that it was all a mistake. But as days turned into weeks, the reality set in. Accepting the breakup was painful, but it was a necessary step towards healing.
once the shock wears off you are thrown into whirlwind of emotions anger sadness confusion relief sometimes all at once one moment you might be feeling like you are moving forward and the next you are back at square one it's important to understand that this emotional roller coaster is normal allow yourself to feel these emotions without judgment bottling them up will only prolong the healing process one of the most effective ways to process these emotions is through journaling write down your feelings your thoughts your memories reflect on the relationship what did you learn what were the good moments what went wrong this isn't about dwelling in on the past but rather understanding it by acknowledging your emotions and experiences you can start to make sense of the chaos after acknowledging your emotions it's time to focus on self care breakups can take a toll on your mental emotional and physical well-being prioritize activities that make you feel good exercise eat well get enough sleep and engage in hobbies you love surround yourself with supportive friends and family who uplift you remember self care isn't selfish it's essential for healing during my breakup i found solace in running it became my therapy my escape i also started meditating which helped me stay grounded amidst the turmoil everyone's self care journey is different find what works for you and stick with it one of the hardest yet most crucial step in healing from a breakup is implementing a no contact rule it's tempting to reach out to seek closure or to see how they are doing but staying in contact often reopens wounds and prevents you from moving on give yourself the space to heal use this time to focus on yourself and your own growth if you find this episode helpful 
please share it with someone who might need it as always please share it with someone who might need it and as always stay strong stay positive and keep moving forward until next time this is zuzu signing off take care everyone and see you in the next episode